Our next step is a very important step for posterior teeth, uh, which is a nerve tracing. So let's get to know the icons or how to deal with them. Here you have this cut on the 3D. You can just click and keep pressing the wheel of the mouse and you can move it in different areas. I'm going to put it forward or backwards. You can move it to the sides or better to go to the part that you want to uh, place the cut and just a left click. So, for example, here I'm in the mental foramen, and still I can navigate by using right click, uh, stepping on the, uh, as you can see, the, the cross sectional cut, right click and keep clicking right, press on the mouse, and you can move backwards and forward. And you can just simply, if you want to go to any other area far from, from this area, you can just left click on the 3D and you have it. So, we have to start here. Uh, let's start with the right side. We can start with the visible landmark, which is the mental foramen. Here, we have here right nerve and left nerve. Be sure that you are adding the correct nerve. So this is the right nerve. I will click on the 3D again. I will start my point. First one outside the mental. Second is inside I can adjust the panoramic curve too and I can move posteriorly and click a dot this can be uh, time consuming so here in the software we have move anterior or move posterior so we just if we click move posterior we can put one point at the mandibular canal here or if you want to do um, uh, to do it with a shortcut I can move posterior and I press shift and left click automatically the software will put the point and just go posterior so I can put the points from posterior uh, uh, area on posterior area and without having to uh, to do all the stuff of uh, navigating through the cuts and finally I can just again move posterior and place my final point. You can increase the diameter of the nerve. For example, from here. Let's see it from the panorama. Okay, and let's revise the points. Let's navigate, make sure that there are no missing points or points placed in the wrong area. Okay, looks fine. Okay, you can see it better here from this view. Now we can switch to the left nerve. If you want to do the tracing on the panorama, it's okay, but I prefer always use the cross section. Let's do the left nerve. Let me show you how to do it on the panorama. First of all, we have to go to the other mental foramen. And we make a small slice thickness of the panorama here. And we can maximize. Uh, drawing the nerve in the panorama may be tricky. You have to to get the best cut where you can see the nerve or the canal as you can see like this cut going back and forward you may lose the canal so you have to place uh, place it in the right area but i prefer always start with the mental and start from the cross section this is one point make sure you're on the, on the left nerve that's one point that's the other start navigating and you can place the points I have to change the slices here to, sh to see the nerve. And these are the two methods of how you would draw the inferior alveolar canal. If I'm done, I can just place a lock. I have to uh, check for the thickness here from the cross section or from the panoramic. 
navigate to make sure I did not do anything wrong. Looks good. Here is the diameter if I want to decrease the diameter slightly. And uh, curve cut view step size. Uh, this is to know how you can skip areas. For example, you are going to put one point and you can skip few millimeters and put the other point either using shift or by pressing more posterior or more anterior according your position. If you are in the mental foramen area, you press move posterior. If you are at the mandibular canal uh, beginning, you can uh, choose to move anterior. I start always with the mental. I like to start with the mental. It's maybe if you are a beginner, start with the mental. If you are not, uh, do what you like. But of course, you have to start from either posterior or anterior. You can start from the middle. So with that said, we have our nerve uh, traced right and left. You can see it on the 3D. And we can uh, go to the next step and click Next.